and welcome to my channel, A Country Life. I'm Jennifer. Today I have for you guys a pretty big grocery haul, I'd have to say. I did something that I haven't done in a long, long time, and that is just do grocery pickup. I don't think I've ever truly been addicted to something, but I lately have just been addicted to grocery pickup. It's just so nice to be able to add things to my grocery cart uh, right on the Walmart app. You know, if I think of something in the morning or at night or whatever, it's just so easy to do. And I do think that it might be some things I do think I'm paying just a tiny bit more for, but um, I am going to try to balance that all out by doing the remaining shoppings for this month. I'm going to try not to do the uh, Walmart pickup. I'm going to try to run into Aldi for some of those other things that I, um, you know, just like to get. So without further ado, let's get into this. So my attempt here when I was doing my shopping was to get all of my grocery and household needs for basically one full week. I do know that there are things here just because, you know, I'm so used to shopping once a month. It is really, really hard to back off and get things for just one week. So I do know some of this is going to last us longer and some is not. I did get six gallons of milk, one we had to open um, when we were having kind of an after church snack. Uh, but there's the milk. <clears throat> and then I did get one of these large packs of chicken thighs. And I think that this is a very similar price uh, to all these. This is $1.26 a pound here. And I think at Aldi, I want to say it was about $1.29 a pound. So uh, actually maybe a little bit less this time at Walmart. Yesterday, we just finished um, butchering all of the deer. So that is four deer that we put into the freezer this year. And I think yesterday we got like 130 three or 113 something like that pounds of meat so I'm really really set on meat but I did want some chicken and then I did get two packs of the great value uh, lunch meat just for this week and then I have a number of recipes this week that we're going to be using bacon so I did get some of this thick cut rights bacon that I'll you know cook up for things and then for one of the salads I'm making I just wanted to have some of this pre-cooked that I can just um, I use my kitchen shears and just snip it apart and that works really really well we are going to have a pizza night and Portesi is Warren's favorite pizza of course I can't ever get those at all these they have the mama cozies so I did get three of the cheese and sausage pizzas this month I am having um, one meal a week be sort of what we're calling finger food meal. It could be served during, um, you know, during the Packer game, or we could just serve it on another busy night if maybe we want to watch like a Christmas movie or something. So I thought mini corn dogs um, are like the perfect finger food. So I did pick those up, and then these are going to last more than a week. There's 30 <laughs> corn dogs in here, and. Um, Warren and I have a getaway planned here coming up, and so the kids had requested some corn dogs for the supper meal that night or the lunch or something like that. So I got an extra big one, so we'd have them for other quick meals. Okay, I do. I did pick up a thing of heavy whipping cream, cream cheese, some shredded mozzarella cheese, the sliced provolone. I, I am going to be making something this month called Chili Mac. Uh, which is, or not this month, I should say this week, called Chili Mac, and it called for Velveeta Slices. Never purchased these before. Um, and then I did get three uh, of the, you know, chunks of cheese here. So Colby and Monterey Jack, Pepper Jack, and Medium Cheddar. This is pretty much all just to be sliced and had with a couple of our different meals, and then sometimes we like to put a little, have a little slice of cheese with our eggs in the morning, things like that. I got four pounds of butter because I'm not shopping for the whole entire month. I am going to be doing a little baking this week, so I did need a little butter for that. One thing of the 4% cottage cheese. I did get one of these 60 count eggs. This is going to last us more than a week as well. Moving over here, I got one bag of mini marshmallows. Okay, so I want to stop there and just kind of show you what we're going to be doing. So last night, so it's Sunday today, last night we were going to have turkey soup. I didn't get it done for supper, so we're actually going to have that for either lunch or supper today, uh, depending. And then I did have on the plan, since there was a Packer game, that we would be doing the mini corn dogs, some chips and salsa, cheese and sausage, and then some pickles and black olives. Just kind of a finger food, something that you know everyone can just kind of come up and graze on while the game is going on. For Monday, we're going to be doing um, my oven fried chicken. Chicken. We'll do mashed potatoes, corn, and we're also going to have salad. And Tuesday, I do have some shrimp in the freezer still from when we made shrimp tacos last month. So I'm going to make a shrimp salad, and then we're also going to have garlic naan with um, mozzarella cheese sprinkled on that. The shrimp salad is going to have avocado in it and bacon, and I feel like 
that's what the roasted corn is for here. Um, yeah, just looked like a really, really good salad that I wanted to try. We'll do something that's just like a no-brainer here on Wednesday, venison steak. We're going to do half potatoes and cranberry fluff. That's why I got the marshmallows, and that's why I got this can of crushed pineapple. Of course, I have the cranberries and sugar already, and that is going to make... Oh, and the heavy whipping cream is for that as well. That's one of Warren's favorite... Um, like dessert salads. I thought that would be fun to make here. And then I do have Thursday to be our pizza night, black olives, and I was going to make some broccoli salad to go with that. Um, we'll see. Sometimes I wait when I know I'm doing pizza for supper. I wait too long and then I don't get that done. Um, Friday we're going to do cracked chicken on buns. That is a recipe. I've made something similar to this before. This one is specific for the Instant Pot, so mine isn't an Instant Pot brand. Mine is the Alec Home, but I thought I'd give that a try. We're also going to do salad and applesauce for that. So on Saturday um, we have just kind of some other plans so I don't think that we're gonna be having a meal at home that day and then Sunday I'm gonna be making that new recipe called chili mac. It's just kind of a chili sort of casserole type of dish which I think everyone's gonna like because I do have a family of chili lovers. Okay let's move on here. I got three things of um, the black olives. Walmart did have to substitute. I'd ordered the large but looks like they just had medium and then I did get a few loaves of bread here I got five loaves of bread I thought I ordered two things of hamburger buns so I'm gonna have to look at my receipt because um, I just have one here <laughs> uh, I did get this is a new type of bread that I'm trying this is the um, soft sprouted grain I had Amber in mind for that I know she likes these uh, Pepperidge Farm style breads so I thought she'd like that I got hundred percent whole wheat one just classic white a honey wheat and then what is this just wheat sandwich bread okay so for fruit I do think that this is probably going to last maybe a little over the week the bananas won't we got 10 bananas I did get the three pound pack of pears they do seem pretty firm so it might be a while before we can eat those here's the avocado that's that's going to go with that shrimp salad did get four grapefruit. Those are just Sam and Warren and I love grapefruit. Uh, some oranges because they finally had them. When I went shopping before Thanksgiving, they didn't have any oranges. And they've been good lately, so we wanted some more broccoli for the broccoli salad. And then also just to put on other garden salads. They had they substituted head lettuce for the green leaf lettuce, which is fine. We'll, we'll use that up too. And then I did just get two quick bags of um, lettuce of these... Um, you know, bagged salads. I got two of those bags. I got two things of corn because um, a couple of the meals we're going to be uh, doing corn. The chili mac calls for corn. And then I think we're going to have corn when we have the uh, baked, the oven fried chicken. And then I got one bag of broccoli florets. This I think is the steamable. Yes, this is the steam in the bag kind for whatever meal. I can't remember when I had that down, but we're going to have that. The kids have really been liking the Great Value cereal. And if you watch closely, you can actually find the Great Value cereal at less um, per ounce than the, what is that brand? Malto meal. Um, some of the Malto meals are still cheaper. I didn't get any of those this time. We just picked up a box of Life last time. Everyone loved that so much. The Honey Nut Cheerios. We haven't had the Frosted Shredded Wheat in a while. Um, what do we have here? We have the Rice Crisps because that's a standard. And then the Crunchy Oat brand. I think this might be the one that has the little bits of granola in it. Yeah, and I know Amber likes that. I think Sam likes that too. I needed some more elbow macaroni. That's going to be used for the chili mac. And then we can also use this to make homemade mac and cheese throughout the week because I do think that um, I can shred up one of those uh, blocks of cheese over there if we want to do that. <laughs> okay, I see that the kids just laid out the Kool-Aids. They were so excited that I actually bought Kool-Aid for them. So I just bought a variety of different flavors. At Aldi, I think they only have three flavors. It's usually Tropical Punch and grape and maybe cherry. So this was a treat for them. And they've been wanting Kool-Aid for a couple months and I keep forgetting, so I did that. I'm also gonna be doing a little bit of uh, Christmas baking. And so I did get a thing of the um, Christmas M&Ms and then the Ghirardelli white melting chocolate discs and the dark chocolate and the and cashews. So that's actually for kind of like a winter I can't remember if it's called winter bark or something, but that's um, something that I really, really like, so I was going to do that. I've been using my bread machine a lot lately, so I ran out of yeast, needed one of those. Uh, black peppercorns we were just out of. We used up the last of our vinegar. 
I was out of parsley flakes, and I also used the rest of my rosemary when I made my turkey broth. Did pick up a bag of the chips so we can have chips and salsa during the Packer game today. Some sunflower kernels. These, Joe loves these so much, so he'll just eat those as a snack, and they're also going to be going in my turkey. Um, turkey. Now I'm thinking funny things here. Um, those will also go in the broccoli salad that I make. So whole um, deluxe whole cashews. These are the salted ones, I sure hope so. Um, that is going to be for in the some Christmas baking as well as just snacking on. I've never bought this. This is a new item too for me. French's Chilio. This, I guess, is the flavoring that works perfectly in that chili mac. So I thought I'd give that a try. We were out of mustard, standard yellow, and we were also out of chocolate syrup. So that is all the groceries that I bought um, for this week. And like I said, I know that a lot of this is going to last more than a week. I'm hoping to get at least 10, uh, maybe even like 11 or 12 days out of a lot of this, except, of course, the milk not. Now, also included in my total, which was around, I think I want to say $335, are two of these essential, Charmin Essential Strong packs of toilet paper, some more Dixie cups. I try to really keep those on hand uh, this time of year because I don't want people sharing cups just because we've had a lot of sore throats and things going around. Uh, the Tide Sport, again, the lotion. These are the Plus, the Puffs Plus lotion, and they're actually a really great price. They, are, they were uh, less per tissue, I think, than even the Great Value. I also needed another one of these um, great big packs of dishwasher packs. I get the Fresh Scent Great Value ones. There's 110 in there. This lasts almost about three months, and so it does. I don't have to buy those often. This actually rolled out of the back of the van, and so it broke, so I'm really bummed about that. But anyway, this was some shampoo for the guys to use. They've actually been really, I think they've really been liking it. No one has complained like some of the other shampoos. So I got that again for them. Uh, some good nights there. And I do have a couple things tucked away that I can't show on camera because they are some Christmas presents and I just didn't want. And I never know which videos my kids are going to actually watch. Uh, you know, they don't find these all that interesting. So um, I don't know which video they might actually watch. So I didn't want to show those. But I think I had about um, maybe six, twelve about $25 of this whole total here uh, like the $335 went to some gross or went to some Christmas presents so those I had to pack away I hope that you guys enjoyed this there will be a link in the description box below if you have not ever tried the grocery pickup at Walmart and this would be your very first time there's a link that you can get $10 off of your first order of $50 or more I also would get $10 off of my next order and that's going to be it for now. We're in the middle of a snowstorm, so we're all just kind of hunkering down. And I managed to get this done with one minute to spare. The Packers are on at noon, and it's 11.59. You guys have a fantastic day, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.